Today I'll show you how to make this curve slider on your website with the free version of Elementor. So you can see the images are auto sliding from right to left side with this smooth curve shape which looks really cool. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make that. Alright, so here we are going to make everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready-made template, you can also get it from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get two different versions. The first one is auto sliding and the second one has the control where you can change the slide by dragging or by clicking on the previous and next button. And all of this you will get both in the container and the old section column version. Okay, but if you don't want this ready made template, you can also start it from scratch. So here first of all let's create a new container. Click on here. And the first thing we need to do to make it to full width. And inside that let's take some content like an heading widget and also an button. Change their text. And let's quickly do some basic design with this. Also do this for this button. Then go to our this parent container and here first of all I want to change its background color to a dark color. And to place the content at the middle here, let's make its align items to the center. Perfect. Here I forget to make its color to this white color. Okay, now to create our slider, here first of all we need to take an another container. So if we open our this navigator panel, from here we can see our this inner container. So first of all let's make it to the full width. And also make it to full height so make it to 100 vh and inside that we need to take an gallery widget so here if we search for gallery from here we need to select this basic gallery widget let's drag it to here and from here we can upload our images but before uploading make sure all of your images are in square size otherwise the image will not looking good so for example here I have an image and you can see this is not an square size image. So you can make it square by using Photoshop or any other photo editing software. So here if we open it with the Photoshop, we just need to go to the scope option. And here make sure to keep this aspect ratio to one by one and just click on here. And then you can drag this image and adjust the position you want to crop. Press on the enter button and you can see this is cropped properly. Also if you look at here, you can see this image size is too big, 4000 by 4000 pixel, which may cause issues with our page loading time. So to make it small, just go to this image tab, go to image size and just make it to 650 pixel, click on OK and press command S to save this file and click on OK. So now we can see our image are properly cropped. And like this I have prepared all the images so let's just drag it to here and click on this button and from here you can also change their order by dragging those images click on insert gallery and you can see these little images to make it more clear let's make this image resolution to full so here when you click on this you can see this default light box we don't want this so for this basic gallery I want to disable this link. So right now what I want to do, I want to take these images and use them inside our slider. And for this, we don't actually need to show our this basic gallery widget. We just take it to grab our images and place it inside our slider by using our custom JavaScript code. Okay? So first let's go to its responsive option and I want to hide this from all of the devices. And then let's go to our this container and here we need to add a class mdw curved slider and then we need to add our custom javascript code so for that let's search for an html widget and drag it to here right before our this basic gallery widget and paste this code snippet 
Here you don't need to worry about any of this code snippet. I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give the website link to my description. So from here you just need to copy and paste that code. Right now if we save this and from our preview, we can see our this slider is working perfectly. Now here if we just go to our this container and from this CSS class option, from here we can also add some option with this class name. For example, if you want to increase the moving speed of this slider, you can do that. So for that, after this class name, we just need to write down dash speed dash and then the value of the speed. The default speed is 30. So if I want to increase it to 100, you can see now it's moving fast. Let's play with another option. So here you can see the images are moving from the right to the left side. If you want to change this direction, here you need to add an, another option. So just right and dash and then reverse. Now it's moving on the opposite direction. And like this, you can also play around with these other options. Just pause this video and check this table if you want to know more. Okay, but here for now I want to keep it to default. So let's remove this extra text. Now lastly, here we need to move our this content at the top and bottom of this slider. And also we can see some little gaps on the left and right side of this slider. So first of all, to remove this gap, we need to go to our this container and make the padding to zero. And to place them properly, first of all, we need to make their position to the absolute. Remove this zero from the bottom, make it to 76% and do the similar thing with this button, make its position to the absolute and from the top, 78%. So right now this all looks good from our desktop. Then if you also want to check it from our other devices, from the tablet, we can see this text looks too big. So let's go to the responsive option, go to tablet and adjust the font size. And you can see I have also adjusted this button like its font size, this padding, and also this position a little bit. Basically, these are the design related things. So you need to adjust them according to your need on the tablet and the mobile devices. For example, here on the mobile, I also want to make it more small. And on mobile, I don't want to keep it to full height. So just go to our this container. And here instead of 100 VH, I want to set a height in pixel. Okay, now this also looks good for our mobile devices. So that's how you can make this 3D slider on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.